with a quick share of a tag mini album I made with Fab Scraps C109, a moment in time collection. This is just black cardstock that I cut out in a tag shape on my silhouette and attached together with some ribbon. This first page I made a pocket. This is paper from the Heart 005. And inside I put two tags from the card pack. Then this uh, and this is a die cut from the card pack. And then I used some rhinestones and pearls from the rhinestone and pearl collection. And I did repurpose the or repackage those as I told you in another video because I have little ones and this has a latch. Then the next page, this is the other side of paper 005 with some thread. Looks like I need to wrap, rewrap that for some texture and a flower from my stash. This is paper 002, always and forever. Some rhinestones, some pearls, a little flower, and a chipboard piece with some washi. This is paper 008, sealed with a kiss. This is a die cut from the card pack that I popped up with some pop dots. I did leave this open so you could stick a photo on, under there. And then it's a pearl and some tiny little flowers. A piece of the 002 and a strip of the 005, a flower, whoop, sorry guys, a flower from my stash with a pearl in the middle and some enamels to look like little leaves. And then this one is my favorite page. This is a doily from my stash, a die cut from the card pack popped up. Let's see if you can see that. There. And then this is a fussy cut piece from the To Have and To Hold 004 that I just fussy cut around and then fit to my doily. And my doily I just adhered on here and then cut off the side so it would be the perfect size. And then all of these are blank on the back. They would hold a three by four photo. Whoop. This, guys, is why I use extra adhesive on my enamels. On this one, I didn't. I was like, oh, these seem strong enough, but I will go back and put extra adhesive on there because I find maybe it's the temperature I'm at or the climate, you know, in my house, but I find they don't stay as well as I'd like. The other thing I did is I tried to alternate the bulky piece of each page in a different spot. So this one's the top right, then I have the lower left, then I have the lower right, just so that this laid pretty nicely when I was all done. But super simple, guys. Um, you could, again, I sized this for a three by four photo. You could size this four by six. Um, smaller, if there was, you know, a reason you want to do it smaller. Um, you could turn this into a guest book. I would put a, a ring through it and maybe make each page a pocket with, you know, a uh, pocket on both sides here and here and put some note paper and a pen and everybody could stick their, their well wishes into the pockets. But super versatile, super cute, can be sized however you need it. Great collection for all of your, your wedding adventures. Okay, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll be back soon. Bye.